And following seven months of negotiations and five rounds of bidding, reports out of Qatar and England say that Sheikh Jassim's bid for total control of Manchester United has been accepted. The final bid is for a reported $6.3 billion. No official announcement has been made, but Qatari-based newspaper Al Watan, which is partially owned by Jassim's father, put out a congratulatory message late wow. yesterday. It's huge. So not officially official, but it kind of feels official in a way, maybe because of that. Wow. What do you guys think? It's huge for the fan base. They've, that's what they've been asking for. They've wanted the Glazers gone. Well, you got what you wanted. You know, you, they did talk a lot about City's owners when that whole thing happened. So I'm sure there's a few United fans that are starting to, you know, backtrack a little bit on their words wow. now. But. And the words, especially from three days ago when everyone was complaining, oh, Manchester City's championship uh, treble was mm, bought. Yeah. yeah. And now they're get, then they themselves are getting bought oh, out by a state-owned club. Boy, did I get that on, yeah. on Instagram. Like, <laughs> oh my was, God. Everyone, they, they bought their, they they, bought they, they their, bought their treble. treble. But don't, look at what happened when Newcastle got bought out by the Saudis, how happy everybody was. Because there's going to be big-time investment into your club. It's, it's so difficult because everything has a price. When you own, if a, if a, if a, if a, if a gajillionaire from, from one of the uh, Gulf state bought Boca, you can't. But if you could, in, in the universe that you could, I would be ecstatic because yeah. I know we'd be one of the biggest players in South America mm -hmm. finding the best talent out there to make a super squad. And it's difficult because morally, it, it's sketchy, right? <laughs> It's, it's, it's rough. You want, you want an island, bro. I ain't saying that. Yeah, <laughs> but, but, but if, but if, if, but if a state-owned club, but if a state-owned club bought Arsenal and was spending millions of dollars, don't tell me you wouldn't be happy. I, listen, I'm, I'm, put the right players on the pitch. That's what I'm yeah. excited for. If, uh, even if the regime that owns my about. club is, yeah, is all blood money. Like That's an interesting question, though. Don't get me saying yes. How do you separate it? <laughs> How do you, how, no, as like, a fan, how can you? How do you it's separate not up it? to you. Because that's a, that's a moral dilemma. It honestly is. Where do your morals lie? I, well, exactly. It's it's tough because, like, yes, as like a Liverpool fan, how many, fan, how many, if, how if many choir sell, boys have won the if, Premier League? You know what I mean? What are we talking about? No, here? I don't know. Well, Everyone's going to be flipping like, so faster what than the PGA. What happened to the English guy? The Ratliff was it Ratliff? Ratliff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ratliff. 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 He was the the other player in yeah, this in this potential, but this is a different level. Of money. If you're the Galatians, that would have felt party, a little cleaner. You're going. That's all Where I'm am I saying. getting the most money for this this sale? Yeah. Forbes well. Forbes proved that their club isn't worth what they were asking. So you're going to have to have someone that can just spend spend freely to buy a club that's been maxed out of its uh, commercial earnings like this has and needs an, an insane amount of investment. The stadium. I know you guys love it, but obviously it needs it needs to be upgraded. I didn't love it when I was there. But that was part of the bid. That was part of yeah, yeah, yeah. The training grounds are you know not what it. I, look, there's a lot that needs to be fixed. I yeah, just Cristiano put them good. on blast when he came back. Yeah. It, by playing uh, terribly. There yeah, is a now part they can't of it. I know. Now I know, they can't complain that City's trouble has been bought. No, you're you're a hundred percent right. But I just think I like I'm if Liverpool were to be bought by a a Sheikh Jassim. I, you feel a little icky. Like, don't you just feel like, don't you get the ick a little bit? You don't feel a little icky about Champions Boston League Red Sox uh, owners owning I your know. team? I uh, know. Uh, no. You imagine? No. Oh. I just, it's a tough one. Oh. I just think it's tough, but I get it. I know. You, money, yeah, the money, money comes is from good. You want good players. You want trophies. Fortune it doesn't guarantee some things that are morally success. corrupt. You know what? If it you want this to stop, if you want this to stop happening, you got to institute a cap. It's just the <laughs> <laughs> Boy. <laughs>